tornado can spin as fast as 300 miles per hour? Wow. Also, our tornado can destroy buildings, power lines, whoa, look up there, and uproot trees. Ah. A tornado is a rapidly rotating columns of air that forms during the storm oh. and connects with the ground through a funnel cloud. So now that we know what our tornado is, we need to know why they form. First, we need a very, very special kind of storm. Can you guess what kind of storm? It's loud, strong, and they can be scary. Did you guess what kind of storm? That's right, a thunderstorm. Oh. Oh, oh, I'll be right back. But the kind of storm you need to produce a tornado whoa, is called a supercell thunderstorm. That means it's a storm with rain, hail, lightning, and fast wind. Whoa. Now, why does a tornado form from a supercell thunderstorm? It's because warm, moist air meets cool, dry air and the wind's direction change. Now, let's check it out. First, we have warm air rising. Ooh. Cool, dry air sinks. It becomes a vortex or funnel where the inside is warm, but the outside is cold. It gets stronger and stronger, and it spins faster and faster. Finally, it touches the ground, and it becomes a tornado. Here it is, hi. Now for the fun part. What about we make our own tornado? Are you guys ready to create our own tornado? Look at this. Whoa, so we colored the water blue to make it more interesting. This is heavy, it's like, ugh, work out. Okay, on a count of three, we're gonna flip the bottle over to see if the tornado form. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah! Ah! Oh no, what do you guys notice? What happened? There's no tornado. Aw. Do you guys know what we should do? What if we try to just swirl the water like so? Woo! Ooh. Whoa, what do you guys see now? Do you see how as the water begins to move, it creates energy and it makes it flow downwards. Look at that. Now that's a real tornado. And as the water flows down, the air from the bottom bottle flows up to replace it. That was so much fun. You ready to see it again? Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to shake it. Whoa, the water's spilling out, but it's okay. 
Whoa, look at that tornado go. Woo. Wow, that was so much fun making this awesome tornado. But now, let's go and meet a real live tornado. Let's go. So now we're outside and there's a giant storm happening behind us. Do you guys see it? There's some big clouds here and it's getting, it's getting pretty windy. These are perfect condition for a, a, a tornado! I wonder if it's a nice tornado. Let's see. Hi, Mr. Tornado. Well, howdy there. Uh, wait. What are you doing out here? Don't you know how dangerous tornadoes are? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, I'll warn you a little bit about us. But you have to promise to keep yourself safe if you ever see one of us again, all right? Okay. So what makes tornadoes so dangerous? Well, you see, we spin really fast. 300 miles per hour, right? You're absolutely right. Some of us can spin that fast. We're also unpredictable, too. So what does that mean? That means we can pop out of the storm at any time, at any place, and it can be a weak tornado or a strong one. You don't know till you know, you know? So, what are we supposed to do? If you have a basement, get to it. If you don't, go to the lowest floor and find a safe place in your house that isn't close to windows, like a bathroom or a closet. That's some good advice, thank you. That's right, so get on and Get safe. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Tornado. Bye! So now that we know so much about Tornado, let's take a quiz. Question number one. What is a tornado? Is it a hurricane? Is it your best friend? Or is it rapidly rotating columns of air that connect a thunderstorm to the ground. That's right. A tornado is a rapidly rotating column of air that connects a thunderstorm to the ground. Next question. Why do tornadoes form? Is it because warm, moist air meets cool, dry air and wind direction changes? Is it because they are late? for dinner? Or is it because they are looking for their money? That's right! A tornado forms because warm moist air meets cool dry air and the wind direction changes! Question 3. What should you do to stay safe from a tornado? Is it Let's go to the basement or safe room on the lowest level with no windows? Or should we dance in the rain? Or if there's a tornado, should you just eat some yummy candy and watch YouTube videos? That's right! If you see your tornado, the best way to stay safe is to go to the basement or a safe room on the lowest level where there is no window. Great job! Now that we learned so much about tornado, let's go back and tell Ryan, okay? Let's go! Whoa. That's how our tornado is formed. Mommy, what, what? is that right there? Woohoo! Tornado, tornado! <laughs> Just kidding, it's me, Daddy. It was Daddy all along. Bye. Thank you for watching our tornado video. Bye. 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 Just one more piece. Yay! Yay. Oh, oh yeah, we did. Hey, what's Whoa. going on? Oh, it's 
shaking a little bit. I Whoa. know that was a strong earthquake. Mommy, but what causes earthquakes? Good question. What and what is an earthquake, right? I'm gonna explain it to you, okay? Be okay. right back. Whoa! Where'd mommy go? Wait, what where what what? Whoa! Hi there! Did you know that earthquake means there's a sudden violent shaking ah, of the ground? But what makes the ground shake? Is it because I'm jumping up and down? Or is it because the earth is growing bigger and bigger and bigger? Woo! Or is it because the earth is made of plates that slide around on top of hot molten magma? Yes, that's right! The earth is like this orange. On the inside, it's squishy and full of fluid. Woo. On the outside, the orange peel is like the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is broken up into what we call tectonic plates. Whoa, look, they go back together. All along the cracks of the tectonic plates are where earthquake happens. Pretty cool, huh? Did you know the place where earthquakes happen are called faults? There are three different kinds of faults that makes earthquake happen. One, two, three. We are going to demonstrate how all these happen. Are you ready? Let's pretend these puddings are like the inside of the earth. The pudding is like the magma. Look how jiggly they are. Whoa. The Rice Krispie treats are like the Earth's crust. The first type of fault is a transform fault. This means that the plates slide and slide past each other just like this. The second type of fault is called a divergent fault. This means that the plates pull away from each other, look. And the third type of fault is called a convergent fault. This means that the two plates push together. Whoa! This is how mountain and hills happen. Whoa! So those are the three kinds of faults that cause earthquake. Whoa! Well, what is that? Whoa! Whoa! Did you guys feel that? That was a real earthquake. I wonder how big that one was. Did you know that you can measure earthquakes? They get score on how strong they are. And they go all the way to 10 on what is called the Richter scale. The bigger the number, the stronger the earthquake. Whoa. So, an earthquake that measures a 2.5, whoa, whoa, is smaller and it doesn't cause as much damage, but an earthquake that measures an 8.5, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, do you guys see? That's a lot of damage, whoa! So now that we have all this amazing knowledge on earthquake, it's time for a pop quiz. Are you ready? Question number one. Why do earthquake happen? A, is it because the season changed? B, is it because the earth is so bored? Mm. Or is it because C, earth is made of plates that slide around on top of hot molten magma. That's right, the answer is C. Earth is made of plates that slide around on top of hot molten magma. Question number two. How many kinds of faults are there? A, is it 10? B, 
Are there three kinds of faults? Or C, a hundred type of faults? That's right, the answer is B, which is three. There are three kinds of faults. Final question, number three. How big does the Richter scale go? A, 10, B, one, or C, one million. That's right, the answer is A, which is 10. The Richter scale goes from one all the way to 10. Yay, good job, you guys answered all the question correct. And if you didn't, it's okay, just try again. Good job, thank you for trying. Now that we learned so much about earthquake, whoa, one is coming, so I better go and tell Ryan, okay? Whoa! Okay, all stable now. So Ryan, that's how earthquake happened. That's very cool, Mommy. I hope an earthquake doesn't knock down the tower. Wow, this is huge and giant. That's so cool, Ryan. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. Please click on one of these videos for Ryan Toy Review more fun!